is going on, dudes? My name is Auto13. Welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon X Wonder Wedlock. I can't even believe it. Feels like it wasn't that long ago. And I'm surprised it only took 19 episodes, considering how much longer this game is than Auras, and we completed that in 18, so I don't even know, man. Anyways, I want to show you the team real quick, because I leveled up everyone to level 60 before I started recording today, so it took me a little while. And I used the rare candy on Pyro because it was the most difficult to level up because all the Pokemon in there, it could not really touch. So, and Chadot did really well against the Gravelers, like basically one-shotting them with Boom Burst and Hyper Voice. So, very, very nice. No one learned any new moves. Actually, I forgot to go get rid of, <laughs> of Surf on Dragonite, so I'll be right back. Ooh, do we do Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, D-Dance, or E-Speed? Ooh, that's the question. I think we're going to teach him Thunder Punch just because, you know, we're fighting Seabolt, who is the water type uh, Elite Four member. So, just so he'll be even, he'll be useful against Seabold, we're going to go with Thunder Punch. Uh, once again, the beautiful outside of the Pokemon League. We're headed in to the, this fabled building, and I can't go left or right. It looks like you can. And that'd be cool if I could, but you know what? We're going in. This is going to be one difficult day, I can tell you that much. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I really do enjoy the Pokemon League in this game. It's very, very nice. It's a very cool looking castle. Um, I don't know on the map where it corresponds to specifically. But, as you can see, we have the four gym leaders to face. And here's... Uh, I don't remember your name. Myrna? Let's see. You're the illustrious Olivia, aren't you? Welcome to the last Pokemon League. I'm Malva. Okay. I am the one of the Elite Four people know me as the Fire-type Pokemon user, Malva. Here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four and our champion. Uh, if you hope to meet the champion and the challenger here, you must defeat the four of us. Do your best because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you'll never get to battle her. But it should be a walk in the park for you, right? The heroine to destroy Big Bad Team Flare. And he didn't know she was a former Team Flare member. So we have uh, Malva here. We have Wickstrom, uh, then this is uh, the dragon one, I don't remember her name, and then Seabold is here. So I think we're just going to start out with Malva. So I don't know who I want to lead out with against Malva's uh, Pokemon. Ooh, I may lead out with Dragonite just because Dragonite is awesome and has Waterfall. The Blazing Chamber. Here I come, Malva. I still can never tell what that is. It looks sort of like a Cresselia mixed with like the head of Viziron. Anyways, I love how the fire just... Like, I think where I'm standing, I would be pretty much cooked to a crisp. Because it wouldn't make sense for me to be alive after that. Anyways, we're going to be battling Malva. Welcome, challenger, my blazing chamber. I'm Malva, and I should be your opponent today. I know, I, did, I didn't read her text with the voice originally. I didn't know what voice to give her. And I didn't really know what remember her name. So, she's also the person that does the news. So, she's going to lead out with a Pyroar. You have a female Pyroar of your own, too. That's awesome. So do I. Okay, I didn't realize you were that strong. Man, this is going to be kind of a difficult day, isn't it? I already said that, I think. Hyper Voice is not going to hurt that bad just because of multi-scale, I think. And this should do quite a lot of damage. But imagine if being inside of this place made it water-type moves didn't do as much. You're gonna full restore, all right. I, I love Dragonite's little stubby arms as he reaches out to attack. It's so cute. Anyways, Hyper Voice is gonna do a lot more this time. Not that much more. Dragonite's real good, I'm glad we have it. And the first Pokemon of the Elite Four has been taken down. Whoo, my heart's beating right now. I don't know, I think all the gym, the, all the members have the same amount. Or, uh, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Hang in there, Dragonite. Whoo! Alright, Gardevoir, you're coming in because one Psychic should finish it from this health. And if you remember what I was saying in the last episode about how we're doing this, like, if Dragonite had fainted there, it wouldn't be dead. I just couldn't use him for the rest of the battle because I just wouldn't be allowed to revive him. And speaking of which, he grows to level 31. Alright, I don't really want to learn Dragon Dance at this point because uh, of all the moves that I have, I don't really want to learn it. Okay, Gardevoir, I'm not sure I should have done that. Shoot. Um, let's heal up Dragonite, because at the very least, if Gardevoir faints in this this match, I want to be able to use our Dragonite. Yep, you're going to Shadow Bone me. And I'm sorry, Gardevoir, you fought hard. I'm glad you came in to save your partner. All right, now, Dragonite, get out here. You're taking down the Chandelure, whether you like it or not. So, 
I know this thing has flame body, so I kind of have to be a little wary of that, and I just gotta hope to not get burned, because burn, like, getting burned would be very, very bad in this situation. Good. Good job. Okay, I'd prefer you not to hit yourself in confusion, Dragonite. Come on, man. Yeah, Henry! Breaking through and taking out the Chandelure. She is one more Pokemon. I don't remember what it is. A Talonflame. My least favorite Pokemon of uh, basically all time. Dun -na -na, dun -na -na. Come on, Dragonite. That's gonna hurt. Come on, Dragonite. I need you. I need you right now. Henry, I need... Yes! Snap that out of confusion. This should do a bunch of damage. Maybe knock you out because you don't have that great spe great defense. All right. And since you hang hung in there, I'm going to full restore up. What the fudge? That doesn't make any sense. Why do you allow me to do that? All right. Well, at least the whatever it is will take effect right now. Oh, my gosh. It does 50 damage even with the marble scale. No, it's not. I don't remember what it is. It's not marble scale. Marble scale is the one that... My, my Logic has, right? I don't know, man. Oh, alright, you're not even gonna heal up your Talonflame. Alright, then. Oh, okay, you're just gonna take yourself out with Recoil. Sweet! There we go, we have beaten Mal Malva. One new, so new challenger is defeated Malva the Elite Floor 4. So I, under I figured out in the last episode why we're earning so much money. I didn't realize this, but Gudra had the amulet coin, so that was kind of funny. All right, next up, we're going to be taking on Wickstrom, and the thing I hate about the most is he has a King Shield Aegislash. Aegislash? Aegislash. And I'm so, so hoping we can get past it. Like, that is my biggest goal. At least I'm not attacking him with physical attackers, so we have Pyro and Chad up, uh, Chad up first. And he's got these swords. And it brings down his podium. All right, Wickstrom, you ready to do this? Let's get it going, bud. I know you have a Caesar, and that'll be really helpful that I have a fire type. And I have Bulldoze, so I can uh, do work to the pro fast. Well met, young challenger. Verily, I am Elite Force Frame Blade of Hard and Steel, Wickstrom. With my magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will be the scope of trainer achievement. Let us give a word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard! He leads out with his prankster, Klefki. Alright. Alright, you're gonna use Torment, which is okay. Uh, it won't last too long, and I have two super effective moves. Oh my gosh, Pyroar. Pyroar is insane, dude. Because one bulldoze and one more flamethrower will take this thing out. Well, you're gonna set up the spikes. Darn. The only one that's gonna actually affect is Pyroar because shout out being a flying type Nicks takes no damage from spikes. So get wrecked, Klepke. Alright, way to go, Pyroar. Kicking ass. Alright, you're gonna send out a purple pass. That is alright. I think my torment is still active, so I have to go for bulldoze. Shit, I know this thing has earth power. You're gonna go for power gem. Well, shit. All right. Shit. Sadly, Chad has to hit with negative four times. And you're gonna four star! Thought this was gonna turn out better than it did, but it's not. There's no point trying to s save Chad on this. It hits itself with confusion here. Um, then Chad gonna be okay for another turn at least. Nope, and you're gonna go for the discharge. All right, well, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry, Chadot. You and your partner tried, but sadly, you were not enough for uh, Wickstrom here. So, I'm gonna send out the next best to wreck through this. All right, you ready, Ravager? Let's do this. You and me, together forever. We're gonna get our giant mega purple pincer. And we're going to wreck shop and destroy you with the close combat. And goodbye. Hate cl I hate Probo Pass so much. All right, you're going to send in your Caesar now. I'm going to strength you, because that should do a pretty decent amount of damage, because it's neutral. And it should probably do more than CC. Yeah, you're going to Iron Head me. Ooh! I have better physical defense, don't I? That's kind of strange. 
You're gonna bullet punch me. That's not gonna kill me. Hang in the Ravager. How does that- What? Screw you, Caesar. I hate you. And next, he has the Asia Slash, so... I can literally only T-Bolt it. Alright, you're gonna stance change, and what are you gonna attack me with? Iron Head. Fucking... Okay, so he's gonna stay in, in blade form. That's gonna do a decent amount of damage, but Gudra's going down. See, this Aegislash was literally my biggest issue. I mean, Dragonite, well, I don't want him to King Shield all over me, so I'm just gonna T-Bolt. And that should knock out the Aegislash, because I think Gardevoir is stronger than Gudra. And there we go! We beat Wickstrom! He was a lot more difficult than I expected him to be. I'm going to be completely honest about that. Dang. We defeated Wickstrom. Glorious! I trust you shall be a bond of a Pokemon surpasses even mine! What now? What sweet, glorious pain and joy! Now rock my mighty heart! My will, which even Shakespeare's, trembles at so fine a battle of this! I am undone! Good lady, you indeed are equal! And worthy to enter this lofty hall! You have struck down two of the Elite Four! The road is still long! Do not waver now! Okay. Okay, two members down, we're gonna be taking on... Um... The dragon type trainer. I don't remember what her name is, but we're gonna be taking her on. She's kind of in I don't know, I like I like this trainer. I think of the most of this Elite Four, I do like the Dragon type trainer the most. Um Seabold probably will be the most difficult. Especially with that stupid Gyarados, man. Oh, goodness, hello to you. Welcome, welcome, come in. You must be a strong trainer. Yes, quite strong indeed. That's just wonderful news. Facing opponents like you and your team will make my Pokemon grow like weeds. All right. Well, she doesn't tell us her name. What's your name? Drozna. All right, Drozna. Let's do this. Leap for Drozna leads out with a Dragolge. Okay, I am leading out with my Pinsir. Beautiful Ravager. All right, this thing is good in, in special defense, so I think that a strength will do a crap ton of damage. I'm just really hoping that you do not have a uh, Thunderbolt or something like that. I mean, you wouldn't probably go for Thunderbolt right off the bat anyway. You probably wouldn't expect it. You, How do you have Poison Point? You're not pointy. You're going to go for Sludge Bomb. All right, well, <laughs> this is already not looking good too good for you, Ravager. I'm just gonna strength because if he decide, yeah, she's gonna heal up the, the dragolge, and I'm just gonna. I know I'm pretty sure as you pronounce it dragalgy, because that's kind of what it's based off of. But I don't know, it just doesn't sound right to me. All right, she's gonna waste both of her full restores in the dragolge. I can deal with that. That is perfectly fine with me. All right, and then quick attack the dragolge, and it should go down. There we go. Good wreck. Get wrecked. Not good wrecked. I'm silly. Full restore my beautiful Ravager up here so he's not poisoned and will be a full health. Because I don't know what this thing can really do to me. He's going to go for Air Slash. That's what you can do to me. <sighs> okay. Well, I do outspeed you somehow. Maybe you'll have pathetic enough defenses I can one-shot. Nope. Couldn't miss the Air Slash just once. Well, I'm sorry, Ravager. You tried. I love you. I love you still. I'm pretty sure I can live one of these. I don't know why I wouldn't, because I'm really good in special defense. If I could get an assault vest, dude, that would be sick, because I could give this thing the assault vest, since it has all attacking moves, and then I could live, like, any special hit. It'd be sick. All right, and our Gudra's now level 61. All right, so she's going to send an Altaria. I think I should outspeed an Altaria. Good job, Gudra. An Ice Beam will do a lot, if not one shot. Yeah. Boom, baby! There goes the dynamite! Woo! I love you, Gudra. I love you. I love the purple the purple squad. The purple squad fits right at home here in Drosnus room. Alright, we're gonna stay in for Drudigan. Uh, I don't I'm not sure if I'm not gonna outspeed it, but I'm definitely gonna go for the Dragon Pulse, because I do get stabbed. It, it's base 240 power after that anyway, so. Um yeah, and that does a lot of damage. He's gonna go for Dragon Tail. Alright. I love you, Gudra. I'm sorry. All right, shout out. Get in here and finish up Drosna for us. With one hyper voice. I didn't, I didn't realize they played Chat Out's Cry when he did hyper voice. That is so cool. All right, well, there we go. We beat Drosna. Oh, damn me. That was short, quick battle. I hope you come back again sometime. Not on this game. And I probably will never see you again. 
Oh, you're too much. You and your Pokemon are simply charming. Thank you very much. Oh, you're going already? Farewell then with your Pokemon. I'm sure you can beat the last of us. All right, well, let's hope. We have one more trainer, which is Seabold, who, in my opinion, is the most difficult of the uh, Kalos Elite Four. Oh my god, I love how- I love his chamber, though. I do love the flood chamber, so. Seabold, are you ready, man? Because I'd like to beat your face in. No, I simply can't say. You're the young lady. I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be worthy of cold and art? Yes, indeed. You see, cooking is a type of art that disappears as soon as it is completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victory soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life, made up a fleeting experience that is truly artful. I do think Pokemon Battle League can be considered art because it's like, it's really difficult to master, like, being an amazing Pokemon battle Battler because you're never gonna win every single battle as a, um, a competitive player. It's just, that's how it's just gonna be. And Strength does a ton of damage. He's gonna go for Water Pulse, which will do a decent amount because of the Mega Launcher. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna go for Strength once again because it doesn't matter. I know he was gonna go for the Full Restore because they're weird and they like to Full Restore their their leads, even though the leads are the, probably one of the least important Pokemon that they have. Okay. I don't know if he'll Full Restore. I'm just gonna go for Quick Attack. He is gonna Full Restore. Like, what are you doing, Seabold? To save Power Points, I'm gonna go for x because x are will do the same amount of damage, just because it's same base power. So there we go, Colossus is down, one down out of Seabolt's team. The most difficult team. <laughs> Alright, so next up you've got a Barbarical. That's alright, I will stay in and close combat you to the next dimension. Hopefully should knock you out. That's what we can hope. Alright, Ravager, come on! And you're... No! Of course you hit the stone edge. Why? Why do they always hit the damn stone edge? I'm just gonna ice beam this thing for no reason. So, there goes Barbarical. Dang it, I wish I pincered in faint. You're gonna light screen, that was smart. That was really smart. Yeah, there goes Starmie, woo! Wasn't even paying attention to anything. I didn't think it would uh, live it. So I think, oh my God, if the Gyarados is Ice Fang, I'm gonna be upset, so I have to stay in Hope that the light screen wears off because this thing will, I'm pretty sure, live one of these. I know you had the Ice Fang. Alright, come on. Light screen. Fuck it. I have to go for the T-Bolt. Yeah, I knew it. He's gonna go. He's. Oh no. My original playthrough, I got swept by this Gyarados. Legitimately. Not the original playthrough, obviously. If, like, when I first played through the game, when I actually uh, did the original series on my channel, I got swept by this damn Gyarados. Alright, you're gonna go for the D-Dance, you're an idiot! Yes! Alright, woo! We took down Seabolt, so we have beaten the Elite Four already. Oh my goodness, dude. I shall, rest I shall store my memory of you in your Pokemon forever away within my heart. All right, thank you very much. And here we go. The door's open. Oh my goodness. So I remember the first time when I did play through this game. I, I obviously, you know, you don't really know who the champion is, but I did kind of think it was going to be Diantha. Like from the beginning, when I, when we first met Diantha, I don't know. It, it seemed like the, she was going to be the champion because she said, I hope to battle you eventually. I hope you get to battle me soon or whatever. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you must know, I'm the champion, Diantha. Oh, but you are. You're the child I spoke to in the new city in Cormorian City, aren't you? And that means you're also the one that dear Augustine said. Of course, how could I? Oh, I must look like not such a fool to recognize you sooner. You and your Pokemon are the ones who stopped Team Flipfuss. It seems wrong of me to say this, but thank you. You saved us all. Can't wait to see what you and your Pokemon are capable of now that I know exactly what it is you've done already.
Turns by Diantha, she's gonna lead it. Oh, of course. Well. Yeah, I don't have chat out out front. Holy crap, you are not very bulky. Are you gonna heal? Yep. I made a good play. For this battle, I am getting rid of the, the wedlock component that I added for it. So, basically, we're just going. What the hell? How do you... Should have made a ball, but it doesn't matter. It should knock out the halucha. There we go. Oh my god, dog. Maybe that was a good idea because I got um the moxie boost. So, you're going to sit in Tyrantrum. All right. Oh my gosh, and they're actually doing the animation. There we go. Ravager, my love. Ravager, my darling. This should wreck your face. Yeah! Especially with the Moxie. Alright, Aurorus, I'm sorry. You have to fall to the same fate. Alright, now you've got a level 66 Scudra. Oh my goodness. This should hopefully do a lot of damage because you're not very physically defensive and I have plus one. One shot! There we go! Ravager! Sweeping! Freaking Diantha! That is what I love! And you're gonna send in the Gorgeist? Oh, I'm sorry, you're done. <laughs> and one shot Aerialite Strength, you're done! And you're gonna trace my Aerialite, which is not gonna matter because you're gonna Mega Evolve next turn and get Pixelate anyway. So I know you're not very physically defensive, Gardevoir, so. Come on, Strength! Come on, Ravager! He would have literally. Ravager! <laughs> He's what the hit the. <laughs> Witnessing the noble spirits of you and your Pokemon battles really touched my heart. Ravage are for life! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him so much. Also like how they have all the different types on the thing around her. I, I'm so choked up, uh, it's hard to know what I should say, but I'm so glad at the moment I was good enough to be the champion. After all, I gave me the chance to meet and battle you and your wonderful Pokemon. I understand why, dear Augustine, that's Professor Sycamore to you. So you had to get everything ready for the new champion. I'll be waiting for us in Lumio City before I take you there. My dear Olivia, would you mind coming this way with me? Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> that was so awesome! Oh, Ravager Sweep! Oh! Here we are. I'm so glad to welcome you in. This grand chamber is where you end us the Kalos Regents Hall of Fame. It's where Pokemon trainers will live on forever, remembered always for giving their all in battle. The Pokemon League for the glory and light they shared with all. Alright, let's do this stuff. Come, Olivia. Your love for your Pokemon. Maybe this Pokemon give everything they had in battle for you. We'll record them all right here for eternity. Pyroar! <sighs> Java Jack Ravager The MVP Lucy Henry And last but not least Cynthia Ah <sighs> the champion team I'm so happy. A few days later, crowds of people gather in Lumio City to celebrate the five defenders of the Kalos region and cheer for its new champion, Olivia. What an amazing donut! All of these people are here to celebrate your achievements! 
I'd like to present you with the honor of Kalos for the bravery you showed back then in Team Flare. I'm so proud of you all. On behalf of the entire Kalos region, I'd like to say thank you. Battle with me. I want to know what a trainer is. All right, he's gonna lead out with his Torkoal. <laughs> All right. Well, I know Torkoals now have Stone Edge. I'm pretty sure, at least. Yep. And you're going for the Stone Edge. I should live it. Come on. Wait, it. That was actually. I lived out way better than I thought it would. Hyper voice this thing. And Torkoal goes down. There we go. You're gonna send in a Sigilyph. I will stay in. And I, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'll crunch this thing. I'll probably just flamethrower. You're gonna psychic me, that's gonna take down Pyroar. Good job, Pyroar. Proud of you. Alright, and we're gonna boom burst this thing. Sweet. And you have a Golurk. I don't know why I stayed in, because all I can do is shatter you. <laughs> that does a lot of damage, actually. You're gonna use Heavy Slam. That will probably hurt. A lot. <laughs> Golurk hit itself in confusion. And Chet out knocks out the Golurk. And there we go. We beat AZ. With the one pair too, which I'm very happy with. I don't know why they give him the Team Flare music when we're battling him. Thank you very much for battling me with me. Now I finally feel free. For even the part of me that mirrored and saw the part of me that built the ultimate weapon. And look who comes back to him. It's his Floette. It was a different color scheme. Who knows why, but... I never knew about the event that gave you the... AZ's Floette. Floette. It's been 3,000 years. His Pokemon is waiting on this time. He waiting for him to turn to the man he was, a man who loved Pokemon with all his heart. And there we go, guys. We have officially beaten X and Y, our Pokemon X Wonder Wedlock. Oh my goodness. Whew. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And we had less deaths than the um, uh, Auras Wonder or the Alpha Sapphire Wonder Wedlock. Because we had, I think, twice as many deaths than. The the Alpha Sapphire window with luck. We had basically an entire box full. You know, I never did a death montage. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this Pokemon X Wonder Wedlock. If you enjoyed it, like, so appreciated. Um, I can't obviously do a Wonder Wedlock until Sun and Moon comes out. And I will be doing the opposite one that I normally play through. Uh, it'll kind of depend. I'm probably going to get both of them. And probably play through Sun because I know everyone wants to get Moon. Because uh, it sounds cooler. But I might do. I'll probably do a a moon wonder wedlock and then i'll do a normal playthrough of sun but anyways thank you so much for watching really hope you enjoyed if you did like just appreciate it make sure to subscribe for more on thursday because typically i do two episodes will be the uh the death montage video for the entire series so thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you all later